So uh, she like, yo, we up to Big Mama house and shit. I'm like, uh, where Pops at? You know what I mean? She like, oh, he didn't, he, he, you know, she like, he didn't make it. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking he didn't make it up to Big Mama house. But I'm wondering who at the house with him, because at this point he needs to be washed at all times. You know what I mean? And I'm like, y'all left him at the house, like by himself? You know? She like, nah, son, he didn't make it. You know what I mean? You know, he passed away. And I had just talked to him the day before. He said he was feeling good. You know what I mean? So I'm in the county jail. And um, I never forget one of the homies came. I forgot where the homie was from and shit. You know what I mean? Came up, blood, you gonna be on that phone long? You know what I mean? I hung that motherfucker phone up and just got down on it with the homie. Like, cause he kind of said it, kind of disrespectful. You know what I mean? And, and hold on, you don't know what's going on on the other end of this motherfucker phone, nigga. You know what I mean? And get off, go get off on the homie, get down and shit. Like, blood, don't ever try to check me on the phone, nigga. You know what I mean? Get off that motherfucker when I get off, but. It was fucked up because really, homie, I had just got this news and shit, you know what I mean? So now I'm in the county jail, my pops died, you know what I mean, and feeling fucked up. You know how that probably could feel, you know what I mean? So you weren't able to go to his funeral? Nah, mom's worked, mom's worked her shit, you know what I mean? What we ended up doing was the two shootings I had, these dudes had not been coming to court. They, they originally told, they got down, but they did never, never showed up. They told from the, like, the initial. They never showed up again. So my lawyer filed a 995, which that was already in the mix, motions in mix anyway. They filed a 99 motion to dismiss. We got the 99 motion uh, granted. Now I just got the armed robbery. Mom's bailed me out on that, you know what I mean? So I, she bailed me out, I get to go to the funeral and shit. So the dudes that told on you did, decided not to come to court? Yeah, they just switched it up, you know what I mean? How much time had passed between your brother getting killed and your father dying? My brother died in January of 90. My pops died in June of 91. So a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. But don't forget, pops, like, he suffered, though, for... So if my bro died in January, pops suffered for about a good year, maybe. So I knew he had cancer six months after my brother died. So the emotions only was, okay, damn, I lost a brother six months later. Bam, I'm watching my father deteriorate, but he didn't pass till June of 90. And now it's just you and your mom? Then it's just me and moms. And what, what happens to your mom? Moms, in, um, you know, like I say, moms had moved to Inglewood. What happened was in 89 when moms and pops broke up. Moms had moved to Inglewood, pops moved to Compton. My brother get killed in 90, they get back together. You know what I mean? You know, because initially they like, damn, it's our fault for separating and putting each other in this position, you know, they got right back together, you know, so we all stand in Compton and my dad pad and um, pops get cancer, you know, so when pops get cancer and pass away, you know, I'm like, okay, this is what it is, me and mom. So you your know? mom was there when your father passed? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. She had, you know, she was right there, you know, man, she was actually watched him die. She was at the hospital when he actually took his last breath. So, um, so, um, so I get out to county jail, I'm fighting my case. Um, I end up getting a, a joint suspension. I don't know if you remember what the joint suspension was, but they suspend your sentence. You know, I had coaches writing letters. I had people writing letters. And, and, and uh, after all, people, you know, people stand up talking for me. They say, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to suspend this sentence, basically, with this three-year joint suspension. You fuck up one more time, you get this yours. You own this. You know what I mean? So it's me and moms. You know what I mean? So uh, about, about three months after mom, at the, at the pops pass away, my mama told me to take her to Daniel Freeman. She like, man, my chest hurt. You know what I mean? And my mother wasn't no go to the hospital person. You know what I mean? And um, I take her to the hospital and, um, and uh, she got diagnosed with cancer. You know, and uh, mom's fight though, she was a fighter. You know what I mean? She wasn't taking chemo, she wasn't doing none of that shit. She watched my dad go through that shit. She like, I ain't taking that shit. You know what I mean? And she fought it out. Tumors got to popping out of her, she fought it. She thugged it out. You know, and I never forget what she told me. And, um, she say, um, she said, I ain't scared to die. She said, I'm worried about leaving my baby out here by herself, because I was the last. It was only me. It was only a family of four. You know what I mean? At this time, I'm 19. You know what I mean? She said, I'm worried about leaving my baby out here by herself. On the flip side, Alex, she was so strong. She said, now listen, though, this was going on. Um, when I pass away, I want a pink casket. I want a pink dress. If my hair flip to the left, flip it to the right, because that ain't how I wear my shit. That's how strong moms was. I'm eating up on the inside, man. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm fucked up, Alex. But I'm, 
but I got to be strong. Homie, you know, it's what it is. You know what I mean? You know, it's what it is. So uh, how much how much more time did she live after she told you all that? Mom, mom lived about, after she had diagnosed, mom lived about eight months. You know what I mean? And, um, and I buried her, just like she said, asked me to do. You know, I had everything what she would, everything she asked me to do, I did it. Pink casket, pink dress, hair was flipped the wrong way. I flipped it the right way at the month of mortuary. You know what I mean? Her, my brother, and my father all buried at Inglewood Park Cemetery. You know what I mean? And uh, me and my brother right now, we got the double plot for I'm already ready. Shit paid for, all I need is a headstone to open and close. So you went through uh, you, you went through some trauma, man, for what, like three years straight? Three years straight, I got hammered. You yeah. know what I mean? I lost my whole family and shit. Now all I got is power rule. Yeah. Now, um, it must be funny to you when you hear people complain about some bullshit, huh? Man, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's, 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 I be wanting to slap a motherfucker <laughs> to say some shit about their mama and shit, and you know, and, and I'm going to tell you a funny story. Because like you mentioned earlier, yeah, I end up coming up in the game. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I was, I, was, I, was, I was all in. You know what I mean? I was all in the set. I was all in. We're going to get this bread. And, and I, end up, I end up coming the fuck up. You know what I mean? Lowriders, Benz, is, you know, all the, all the shit that the streets want. You know what I mean? But they didn't ever know that when Thanksgiving come, a motherfucker be like, oh, no, homie, I'm going to stop by my mom's pad. It was, it was dudes out there that the homies used to say this because I didn't believe it at the time. Man, that's a lot of niggas jealous of you. Nigga, you, nigga, you out here balling. That's a lot of niggas jealous of you. But I'm going to tell you what I was jealous of. A motherfucker that be like, I'm finna go to my mama house for Thanksgiving. That shit ate me up, man. You know what I mean? Oh, man, now I'm going to go park my car in my mama's driveway, homie. Scoop me up and, you know what I mean? It was little shit like that that I couldn't go park my, mom, my car in my mama's driveway. You so, know what I mean? So you, you was basically orphaned as a teenager. You were still in your teens. I was so 19, 19, yeah. Okay, so I'm sure you were doing lots of little... Uh, minor hustling as you was growing up, but when did you decide, you know what, I'm about to go do this for real? Like, how old was you when you had aspirations to hustle on another level? Well, the thing about it is, um, at, really at 19, I'm a, because don't forget, you talk about the three years that I went through it with the fam. Also, at 20, 19, 20, I get shot and a drug deal going wrong. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.